Hello viewers welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of The Witcher show. Falca, a mystery woman who appeared to Ciri when she was at her weakest, was one of the new characters featured in The Witcher season 3's closing episodes. But who is Falca, and why did Ciri adopt her name in the season finale? Henry Cavill's final season as Geralt of Rivia in the Netflix series The Witcher, as well as the numerous events it covers, caused season 3 to be seen as an occasion. In season 3 of The Witcher, Geralt, along with the majority of the continent, was on the prowl for Ciri for various reasons. Yennefer of Vengerberg and Ciri doing their best to stay together and safe, but the finale of part 1 forced them to part ways again. The Thanid Cube was a major shakeup for all the characters of The Witcher, and after Vilgefortz defeated Geralt, Ciri unintentionally transported herself through a portal in Tor Lara to the desert of Korra. There, the Lion Cub of Sintra had visions and hallucinations of some of her loved ones before she finally met a mysterious presence that had been following her, Falca. Ciri ended up using her name to protect her identity at the end of The Witcher Season 3 when she met the rats. But who is Falca, and why is she important to Ciri? Unlike other characters in Netflix's The Witcher, Falca is a character taken from Andrzej Sapkowski's books. Falca is a quarter elf woman and the oldest daughter of Redania's King Vredink and his first wife, Beatrix of Cover. When King Vredink met Sero, he quickly divorced Queen Beatrix and sent her and then one year old Falca back to Cover. Years later, Falca was determined to take back what was rightfully hers as the king's eldest child, and so she started a rebellion. Falca killed her father, her two half brothers, Heltmolt and Denhard, and Queen Sero, while the then pregnant Rhiannon, Sero's adopted daughter, and the fourth great grandmother of Ciri, was imprisoned in Houtbor Castle. Rhiannon gave birth to twins and went mad, and around the same time, Falca also gave birth to a girl and left her in the hands of a now insane Rhiannon. Sometime later, the rebellion was quelled and Falca was tried and condemned to die by burning on a stake. The legends say that Falca cursed all the people present and promised that they and their progeny would suffer in the hands of a child that would bear her blood. Falca is played by Hiftu Quasim in The Witcher Season 3 Part 2. Quasim's acting career began in 2015 with appearances in the short films Last Night in Edinburgh and Tezib, and in the following years, she had minor roles in the TV series Traces, Deadwater Fell, Casualty, Endeavor, The Nest, and Killing Eve. In 2022, Quasim played Misha Varani in the TV series Ten Percent and Sandy Hepburn in Granite Harbor. Quasim had already joined the universe of The Witcher prior to her appearance in Season 3 Part 2, as she had a voice cameo in the prequel miniseries The Witcher. Blood Origin as the Voice of Light, an unknown being that the Druid Balor interacts with in another world. It's unknown if Hiftu Quasim will appear again as Falca in future seasons of The Witcher, but for now, she already left her mark on Ciri's story. Ciri taking Falca's name at the end of The Witcher Season 3 is also taken from the books. In the source material, Falca appeared to Ciri during a pyromantic vision triggered by her use of fire magic, but in the Netflix series, she appears to the Princess of Sintra during her most vulnerable moments in the Korath Desert. Falca tells her she's the past, and that they have in common that they're insane princesses abandoned by those supposed to protect them. Falca showed Ciri, the place where she would be taken as a prisoner later on, and Ciri recognized her when Falca told her her story. When the rats, who had just saved her and Kaylee, asked Ciri for her name at the conclusion of The Witcher Season 3, she identified herself as Falca, demonstrating that she had heeded her advice to let her fury out and burn everything to the ground in order to transform the system as she desired. Calling herself Falca distinguishes her present as a possible killer from her history as the lion cub of Sintra and a witcher. Ciri is now embracing a dark side of herself that had to emerge when she found herself in severe and dangerous situations.